Hey there! In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad transmission control module, what it does, how it fails, and the key signs you should watch out for. So, what's the purpose of the TCM? Well, its main job is to monitor all the sensors inside your transmission and communicate with the engine control module to ensure your car shifts gears at just the right time. Basically, it's like the brain behind your automatic transmission, making sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently, and if something goes wrong, the TCM alerts you by triggering diagnostic trouble codes, which can help pinpoint the issue before things get worse. Now, if you've got a manual transmission, you can go ahead and relax because manual cars don't even have a TCM. So, why does a TCM go bad? Well, there are a few reasons. One of the most common issues is damaged or torn wires, which can mess with the communication between the module and the rest of the transmission system. Then, there's the possibility of a software issue. Sometimes, a faulty update or a glitch in the programming can cause shifting problems. Next, internal corrosion is another big one. If moisture somehow finds its way into the TCM, it can cause electrical components to fail over time. Next, cracks in the module itself can also lead to problems, especially if they let in water or dirt. And don't forget about a loose mounting bracket. If the TCM isn't secured properly, constant vibrations from the engine and road can shake things up and eventually cause it to fail. Now that we know what the TCM does and why it can go bad, let's talk about the common signs of a failing TCM. All right, the first and most obvious sign is the check engine light turning on. When the ECU detects a problem with the TCM signal, like if it's inconsistent or completely missing, it triggers the check engine light and stores a diagnostic trouble code. Think of these codes as your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. If you hook up an OBD2 scanner, you might see codes like P0700, which is a general transmission control system malfunction, or even more specific ones like P0613, which points to an issue with the transmission control module itself, and P0706, which indicates a problem with the transmission range sensor. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanations. I'll also put a link down below if you need an OBD2 scanner, or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. All right. Let's move on to the next symptom of a bad TCM, harsh, erratic, or unpredictable gear shifts. You might be cruising down the road, steadily increasing your RPMs, when suddenly your transmission shifts way too early or way too late. It might even feel like the car is slamming into gear, making for a rough and uncomfortable ride. That's because the TCM is responsible for precise shift timing, and when it starts to fail, it can send the wrong signals or fail to adjust shifts properly. Now let's talk about one of the most noticeable signs of a bad TCM, poor fuel economy. One of the TCM's main jobs is figuring out the best gear ratio for different driving conditions to maximize fuel efficiency. When it's working correctly, it ensures smooth shifts and optimal power delivery. So your engine isn't working harder than it needs to, but if the TCM starts to fail, it might struggle to determine the right time to shift or when to lock up the torque converter. That means your engine could be running in a higher or lower gear than necessary, leading to wasted fuel and lower MPGs. Let's talk about another sign of a bad TCM, your car unexpectedly shifting into neutral. Imagine you're cruising down the road and suddenly, without any input from you, your transmission decides to slip into neutral. That means no power to the wheels, no acceleration, and a whole lot of confusion. This happens because the TCM is responsible for controlling gear selection, and if it malfunctions, it might send incorrect signals, causing the transmission to disengage unexpectedly. The next symptom of a bad TCM is transmission slipping. You step on the gas, expecting your car to accelerate, but instead, the engine revs up while your speed barely changes. It almost feels like your car is struggling to find grip, but in reality, the transmission is failing to fully engage a gear. 
This slipping usually happens when shifting between gears, but in some cases, it can even occur while cruising in a single gear. Next up, getting stuck in one gear. You're driving along, but no matter how much you press the accelerator or ease off the gas, your car refuses to shift. It's as if your transmission is locked in third or fourth gear, leaving you with limited acceleration when you need to speed up and reduced engine braking when you need to slow down. This is commonly known as limp mode, a failsafe built into modern transmissions to prevent further damage when the TCM detects a major issue. The TCM should always be the last suspect when diagnosing transmission issues. Before blaming the module, it's crucial to check other components that can cause similar symptoms. First up, a faulty vehicle speed sensor. The vehicle speed sensor plays a key role in telling the transmission when to shift. If this sensor is failing, the TCM may receive incorrect data, causing erratic shifting, hesitation, or even limp mode. Sometimes a bad VSS can also trigger trouble codes that resemble a TCM failure, so it's important to test this sensor before assuming the worst. Next, we have a faulty shift solenoid. The shift solenoids are small electrical components inside the transmission that control the flow of fluid to engage different gears. If one or more of these solenoids fails, you could experience hard shifts, delayed engagement, or even getting stuck in a single gear just like a bad TCM would cause. The good news is a faulty solenoid is often easier and cheaper to fix than replacing the entire transmission control module. Another possible cause of transmission issues that mimic a bad TCM is bad transmission oil. Unlike engine oil, transmission fluid doesn't need to be changed as frequently. However, if your car has racked up more than 60,000 miles, it might be time for a change. Old or degraded transmission fluid can cause rough shifting, slipping, or even delayed gear engagement, symptoms that can easily be mistaken for a faulty TCM. Another possible cause of transmission issues that can mimic a bad TCM is a faulty transmission fluid temperature sensor. This sensor plays a crucial role in making sure your automatic transmission fluid stays within the optimal temperature range. If the fluid gets too hot, the sensor signals the transmission to downshift to prevent overheating. But if the sensor malfunctions, it can send incorrect readings to the TCM, causing improper gear shifts, delayed engagement, or even limp mode, where the car gets stuck in a single gear. So, if you're experiencing shifting problems, it's worth checking the transmission fluid temperature sensor before assuming the TCM is the culprit.